This video was brought to you. Oh, f this video was brought to you by my. Mm, who did it? This video was brought to you by my supporters on Coffee. Whoa, where have I been? It has been a while since I've been here. Hello, how you doing? I'm coming to y'all with footage that's from a couple months ago, but um, you know, happy new year. <laughs> it's been a minute, but I've been a very, very uh, all over the place. A lot of things have been going on in my life. It's been preventing me from being able to sit here and talk to y'all, but I'm back. A lot of ups, a lot of downs, but um, you're gonna see a little bit of how I fell apart and pieced myself back together. Um, I've been doing a lot of events, a lot of artwork too, and I've grown so much as I've gone through a series of life changes. So let's get caught up. Hello, it is January 1st and Ooh, happy stinking new year. I'm starting off this new year quite stressed. Sadly, I'm going through a lot of changes. Obviously, I'm in a new space now. Um, I just spent today killing bugs, so that was great. I'm just trying to get settled. I thought I was fully settled, but I'm actually not. There's just a lot. There are a lot more things that I needed for this move that I just didn't anticipate. I don't know, this is my first time not living um, in my childhood home, so. Feeling very unstable emotionally right now. That's the word of the day. I feel unstable. I just feel very uncertain. Right now, I'm about to deal with some tax stuff. I know, January 1st, I should be celebrating and chilling. I wish I could celebrate and chill, but I can't chill when there's something looming over my head. So, I'm gonna try and deal with this tax shit that I just cannot seem to get right. I think I already showed what my room looks like. My room looks kind of like a mess right now. This is just my office. Uh, I have an office now, so I'm wondering how that's gonna like help with my productivity and stuff. If you're an echo, because there's not that much stuff in here, more space than I anticipated, which is a good thing. And uh, my room is on the other side of the house. That is my room, that is my rest spot, that is not where the production happened, it's not where the magic happened, that's where the sleep happened. I hope y'all rang in the new year, uh, well, I don't know, I hope you're doing fine. And I don't know, I hope I can manage things, I just really hope that I can manage things. Um, so pray for me if you pray, or just wish me good luck. Oh, and if you're wondering about my wallpaper, ignore my gigantic desktop icons. But. If you're wondering about my wallpaper, uh, if you're on my coffee page and you're a subscriber, this is a free download for you, I think. Or if it's not a free download, I do have the download available on my coffee page. Uh, I have this as a wallpaper. I'm hoping to have more and better illustrations up as wallpapers in the future. We'll see how that goes this year. Hello, it is day two of January. Um, yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. Uh, I was working out and I didn't want to wear uh, I need to put on a shirt and I didn't want to put on anything clean because I'm already sweaty, so. Besides me struggling with acne scars, things are going all right, I guess. Um, I forgot to show this drawing that I got at Holiday Cosplay Tampa Bay. Um, I forgot the artist's name off, I forgot the artist's name right off the top of my head. So I'll, I'll link, or I'll have a link somewhere, probably in the description box. I'll put the name like right here or something. Oh, I just love it so much. I want to put it on my wall. Gotta start filing for sales, my sales and use tax and income tax. And I'm, I have problems. Whoa, the power just went out. Okay, so most of the things I planned on doing today needed electricity so that's great oh my gosh if this is not a testament to how this year is going for me i don't know what is it's only day two and i'm like i'm in shambles <laughs> the power is like the power is like out out 
right now. So I don't really know what to do. <laughs> I think I may just take my iPad and go to someone else's house because I really was just gonna focus on artwork today. I don't really wanna show my face because if you hear me sniffling, that that's why. I don't want y'all to look at my boogers. I, I hate the idea of showing my crying face on the internet. Maybe there's something pathological behind that. You know, I try to make these vlogs, um, and I don't know, being real on the internet is funny to me because everybody's performing, I'm performing. I try to be very honest and as transparent as I'm comfortable being uh, on here, but it's been a really hard two weeks. I made a lot of different decisions to like just completely change the way I live, but um, I don't know, a part of me feels like I, I made those changes to move forward, but I feel like I took 20 steps back. Started off the year like this, but that's how I ended the year, so obviously. I'm not sad about not reaching the goals that I made for myself last year because I know that sometimes sometimes things just don't work out the way they do. That's not that's not what's upsetting me. I just feel like I haven't progressed at all since I graduated. Um when I make decisions that align with how I feel or what I truly want, well, the, the rewards are just not coming in the way that I thought they would. I wish I had help. I'm gonna seek out help eventually, but I just, I don't know, I'm drowning. Don't know what any of that was. <laughs> <laughs> Mini breakdown. That's what my breakdowns kind of look like. I just got off the phone with the utility folks and I should be getting power back soon. Apparently my whole, this whole area is out of power. I don't know. I don't know what this vlog is gonna be like. We'll see. Okay, so, hello. It is the next day and yo let me show y'all something this is how you know you're getting older because the way the way i'm excited about my new mop like bitch don't you bitch don't you Ooh, that dirt better watch out <laughs> is just going to be ridiculous for a little bit oh god i am so crooked four days in two mental meltdowns later i'm going out um with my cousins it's one of my cousin's birthday so we're just going to get some sushi i think um i'm going to get an appetizer because i ate oatmeal fairly recently and i'm not that hungry was that planned yes actually let me show you my progress so far. I'm working on the character design for the mother in the story that I'm uh, illustrating. And I've made some good progress so far. I'm probably going to, yeah, so I'm working on, hold on, let me just get rid of this. Working on some of the facial expressions and I'm gonna do a dynamic pose. This is an older sketch, like her first, first design um and yeah i'm gonna use that as a dynamic pose i'm glad that i already have the sketch i just have to fix the proportions and whatnot and then line it up and color it i'm um, hoping i can get this done tonight um when i come back from dinner i don't know if i mentioned it in the last vlog but i have been working on these for a while and i've just been so distracted for the past few weeks that i haven't made as much progress as i want to Hopefully, well this weekend really is it. Like I have to finish it by this weekend. So I'll be working on it throughout the rest of the week. I spent most of this week, uh, this first week of the year, applying for jobs. Eee, that dirty word, yeah. But I'm applying for jobs. It's not a dirty word, I'm just kidding. It just, you know, makes me cringe just a little. The search has been rough. That's all I'll say right now. And I'm also gonna be preparing for my next con. I can't really really invest much into new inventory just yet. So right now I'm just working on the art for this new inventory. I started my Tekken stickers with, I didn't think I was gonna start right away, but I figure I might as well just start now. I don't know. I don't know if I talked about 
my idea for these drawings. I might have given you a, a sneak peek. I don't know if I talked about it, but eventually I will. Um, oh, and I also was able to get this table, excuse my vacuum. I was able to get this table. Um, this is my old computer desk table. My uncle fixed it for me. I broke it the first time and he fixed it for me. With the sales tax thing, I didn't make a mistake. Uh, that was a notice. I don't know why they sent me that, but everything's fine on my account. I paid what I needed to for the last a reporting period or for the first reporting period that I missed but I got a waiver on that uh because I didn't know um but this next one I'm going to be paying and I think I will talk more and I don't know when I get more accustomed to doing this I will talk about it again but I think I have the sales tax thing figured out now something about my outfit today gives me like Disney Channel dress up game like you remember that Hannah Montana dress up game on DisneyChannel.com why do I feel, I don't know, my outfit just was, reminded me of that, besides the choker. It's the cargo shorts and the flip flops for me. It's giving, it's giving fake Malibu. Came home later than I thought, so I didn't get to finish. Yeah, I didn't get to finish. I need to exaggerate this one some more. And then I'm working on the pose. I'll be finishing this tomorrow and I may stream. Hanging out with my cousins and talking about the things that are bothering me definitely helped. So I'm feeling a bit better now. Hopefully I can carry, I'm gonna carry this energy into tomorrow cause I need it. Wow, I wish I could show y'all the progress that I'm making on my <laughs> drawing, but I can't because this <laughs> keeps on <laughs> dying. It's been dying while on the charger and I just can't get anything done. So I have nothing to report from today. Uh, today was a failure. I did mop my floors though, so that's nice. I like that my floors are nice and clean. Oh, and I, I moved my desk. Yay. Hello, happy, happy 8th? What is today? So, Sunday, Sunday, happy Sunday. So right now I am, oh, I have to show y'all the mom turnarounds. Let me be honest, I may be going back in to edit these because I don't I don't know if I like I like them, but I always feel like this after I finish uh drawings, especially characters. I'm just like, do I even like this? But here it is. I just finished it. It is done. I wanna update this. I don't know if I like the pose, but I do like the color scheme that I have for her. Um I'm regretting the leaves already. <laughs> this might be a lot. This was actually supposed to be more pattern, but then I was just like, girl, you have to draw this several times. So I figured the leaves were organic enough for me to be able to replicate them easily. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the face, you know, I tried to make it resemble the daughter as much as I can. I am also working on my planning for the year. I found this template, this Notion template, and in the video, they link, uh, they have the link to this template. I just think it's really freaking awesome. I'm doing quarterly planning this year. Uh, I'm currently editing my version of the template. I think I just messed up my first notion. I think it's just too all over the place in some areas of my database and I have to do a complete rehaul of that. It's a really good way for me to set boundaries for myself. I'm literally setting boundaries. <laughs> And I don't know, I just wanted to have one hub to go back to when I want to refer to like my plans, my overall plans for the year. Oh, I got my feedback for the storyboards that I did for my book illustration. So I'm going to be working on that a lot. Um, I don't think, I don't know how much of it I'm going to include in the video because it's, it's, it's in its early stages. Um, I will show a glimpse of it in videos. <laughs> Happy good morning on this fine Thursday. I am actually working on my sales tax for the last reporting period. Uh, December was kind of dry, so yeah. Yeah, those, those numbers are low. Yeah, I had a rough ass month. I, <laughs> I couldn't really focus too much on sales. But this is what I'm doing. I have to report everything by the 20th and I'm going to be sending my uh, sales tax in tomorrow. The numbers might be wrong. I'm. I'm proof I'm proofing it right now. I just had to update a few things and yeah, this is really important to do, y'all.
this may puff up in like an hour or two tops because I am in Florida after all. Oh, I'm also wearing my boba bear top again. I still feel the same way I feel about it when I first got it. I'm just like, it's a little too, it's a crop top. By the way, hold on, let me just, why am I making this hard for me? All right, yeah, it's a crop top. <clears throat> I still wish it was a little bit bigger, but we move. Um, should I record like this? No, I, I should stay zoomed out. Something's missing. Okay. No, we're good to go. All right, I'm gonna go film. So I'm gonna have to come back later. The sun's gonna be down. This is gonna take a lot longer than I thought, so. All right, I finally finished recording. It is, it is nine. I need to find something to eat. Um, everything that I had to do took so much longer than I thought. Maybe I just overestimated how much I can do in one day, so. Hello, and I am back to doing mini vlogs. And I think, um, you know, I started doing mini vlogs a while ago. This was before I started posting on YouTube. I did mini vlogs so I can get comfortable recording myself on camera. And nobody watched those, and that's okay. Um, <laughs> so I'm actually going to do my due diligence and promote these. So these videos are going to be available to coffee subscribers at the $5 tier and they will also be available to purchase to watch um, on my coffee shop. So I feel like that's going to be really cool. I just want to do this series just to talk about specific things um, and I try to keep all my content about my artwork but I think um, I don't mind going into my personal life just a little bit because a lot of things in my personal life correlate to my artwork. So by the time you're watching this, my December vlog should be out. And in my December vlog, I kind of vlog the process of me moving out of my childhood home, uh, moving out of my parents' home, not really my childhood home, but I filmed some of the process of me moving into a new space. And um, I didn't really wanna talk about it too much publicly because this is something that I'm still trying to work through um, in my personal life, but I did move out of my family's home. Um, and it's been really interesting trying to remain creative while I deal with the emotional baggage from that. I moved out in an abrupt manner. Um, I felt like I needed to move out right away for my mental health. I came to that decision very, not exactly last minute. It's something that I had thought about doing, just pondered about for the better part of the year but I decided to go through with it within a week or two and that has really abruptly changed my life in ways that I expected and also didn't expect. Um, I felt like it would also help me creatively and I think it has because I have this office and I can work in a separate space it's been helping me stay productive. But you know, it's been really hard to be creative throughout all of this. The emotional weight that I'm carrying um, has been a lot. And I have contemplated quitting doing art and YouTube many times within the past two months. So when I when I got my book deal and I went to Deerfield Beach for my workshop, that was a high. That was a high and, and I felt like that opportunity was going to mark the change in my life. But it, for some reason, I thought that that opportunity was going to alleviate the stressors that I have. And honestly, it, it didn't. It didn't do that, really. With this move, I thought it was going to do, I knew it was going to drastically change um, my life. I knew it was going to alleviate one stressor. I didn't realize how much my other stressors are going to be affecting me now that one has been removed. The financial pressure has been ridiculous and I already knew that I was going to take a financial hit by doing this. The reason why I've been living with my parents for so long is because financially it's been it's been a lot easier. I knew that was going to happen but I was just like, yo this hits different <laughs> when you're actually going through it. Hey y'all, this is a clip from my private vlog that I uploaded onto my coffee page. The rest of this video will be made available to all subscribers and tippers. Now let's get back to the vlog. Um, 
yeah, I was supposed to go to the mechanic today and I, my alarm didn't go off. So I, and I didn't know where, like exactly where it was. I forgot where, where it was and I didn't have the address. So left the house, drove around in circles for no reason. And now I'm here, I'm working. I just ate, had chicken nuggets for breakfast. Um, and I am just trying to get these uh, storyboard sketches or not storyboard sketches. I'm working on uh, the sketches for my book. I got the feedback from my, yeah, I told you, I got the feedback from my storyboard. So now I'm just working on the, don't mind my hair, it's clipped. I, I, I clip my hair up, so this looks ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I did this spread the other day, yesterday, not the other day. And, hold on. I don't know how to flip the camera while I'm recording on a Google Pixel. Somebody tell me how I can do that. <laughs> um, this came out pretty great. It took me a hell of a long time to like really refine the sketch. Let me see if I have the original somewhere. I don't know where the original one is. And I'm also watching Star Puppy. I'm watching Star Puppy try out different hairstyles and it's giving me ideas for my hair because I didn't know how I wanted to do my hair for the con this weekend. And I just, I love it. I love these styles so much. I think I'm going to do this one this weekend. I'm going on a jog tomorrow so I know my hair is gonna be wild. Um, maybe not wild. Depends on how much I sweat, which I usually sweat a lot when I run, so it's, it's not going to be that great. So I need to figure out how to wear my hair for the weekend, um, and I think I'm going to try that style. Um, I'm also, I also cleaned up this table. I just moved <laughs> everything to the floor. I don't know where else to put anything. So um, I haven't hung up my paintings yet, so a lot of things are on the ground right now, but um, this is going to be my crafting table. And yeah, this is slowly coming together. But let me get back to work. So I just spent six hours, <laughs> about six, almost seven hours working on this one. Well, I was working on a few sketches, but really just trying to figure out this one sketch. And I, I may have done too much. Um, but at least it's like done, done. You see how much detail? There's so much, and I'm not even done adding all the detail. Um, I have to adjust these. Background characters, but yeah, I've done so much. I'm so tired. Thank you to everyone who watched my recent vlog, my December vlog. I don't know, I just saw some really sweet, a really sweet message, and it just warms my heart. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do a test stream. I gotta figure out what my settings should be for the next stream. I'm tired of things being crunchy, so um, I think I'm just gonna do it offline. I thought about doing it like an online stream i might we'll see we'll see i may pop in but i really enjoy live streaming it sometimes i forget why i stopped and i know exactly why i stopped live streaming i thought about making a video about that but i don't know i don't think that'd be that interesting but anyways um i need to hurry up and go to bed because i'm so tired and i have to go to the mechanic tomorrow morning i'm actually gonna get there this time but yeah all right see y'all later Took me forever to set up my printer and my cameo. Why does it keep doing this? Yeah, let's see how the print came out. Okay, I'm printing the Lust stickers right now. Um, it came out pretty good. I don't know why it won't focus, but it came out pretty good. So I'm gonna go stick this in the cameo and see how that turned out. My mat is stuck in the machine. I left no space between the wall and the mat because the mat comes through on the back here or in the back and it was just against the wall. That's why I wasn't working. I think, I think 
think I made the mat too tacky because look, it's like peeling the back page. Oh, this is so frustrating. But I used Goo Gone to get rid of the sticky um, tackiness on the mat and tomorrow I'm just going to scrub it clean. This entire day has just not gone as planned and it is what it is. So tomorrow I will do all the preparations before I go to set up for the con. So I made it to the RP Funding Center. I have to poop. Oh, I didn't know there were a bunch of hotels like right next to the- Ah! It's a love bug. I need to get to the actual loading entrance, which I think is on the other side. So, oh my God, there's so many love bugs here. So I'm trying a new setup and I hope that it works. I hope I have enough grids for it too, but we will see. to show you all the sinks. The sinks are so cool, look. Hold on, I don't want I just washed my hands, so I don't want to trigger it again. Look at how sleek they are. Okay, that is all. I am at home and I am going to prepare some stickers. Um, I want to try and get these stickers cut today and just um, gather the rest of my things. I need to check my email actually. I need to see what time I or how early I can come because I plan on waking up at 6 and I'm really questioning that now. 10 a.m. I'd like to get there by 9 because I'm going to write my, I'm going to create my signs and create my uh, price signs and stuff too. Oh yes, it's no longer ultra sticky. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, the circles came out okay. Jesus. Yeah, ooh. Mm. Tragic. Start packing up right now.
Whoa, look at my bangs. I'm so tired. <laughs> I look hurt. Who hurt me? The world. Yeah. The scarf is on, which means I'm done for the night. I actually have to twist up my hair. Let me go do that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna twist my hair after this. Um Comic Con Comic Con type conventions are definitely not it for me. This was this was definitely a good mix of like anime and like other nerd uh, properties, but overall, I did not make table. I didn't make what I needed to make. I didn't cover all my costs, and that's not good. That's really bad. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably think about it. We'll see how the next one goes, but I'm I'm tired of being disappointed. I'm I'm very much over it. I don't want to keep doing this anymore. And instead of paying for vendor fees, I'd rather pay for the products that I want to produce and um, other things that I would need and just do a couple, maybe like one or two like cons a year. And I'm going to stick to doing vendor markets. So after next month or next month, I have a vendor market and I'm excited for that one because that's a really fun one. I think vendor markets, I don't know, that was the only vendor market I've been, the one I went to in October was the only vendor market I've ever been to and that was probably my favorite event so far that I've been to and they're having another event in Winter Park um next month so I'm gonna be going to that one so I'm really excited about that I'm a little bit worried about the next anime con they just haven't been working out for me so I'm just like I'm dreading the next one I'm not gonna lie and I want to be super excited for Brick City actually I am excited to meet folks because i met so many cool folks at lakeland i think i think this one was like the best one in terms of like the folks that i spoke to everyone was everyone who approached me was super nice the artists i connect with were so cool after brick city and then i'll have tampa bay comic con which i'm big worried about that one i'm, I'm big worried but i plan on having different artwork by then hopefully it won't be too bad but i'm going to work on um an illustration and um i need some feedback on uh, another section so i'm gonna crank that out tonight and then just sleep in i'm tired i have to drive back home yeah i'm not at home right now i'm at my sister's house again so yeah hello okay well, that's interesting. Hello. Something I got from the con. Hold on, it's on my keychain. I don't want to show you my keys. I can never remember. There, there, there are, oh my gosh. I'm going to put the artist name like right here. But anyways, look. It is, okay, so it's the Fire Nation. It's Fire Nation outfit. Think of, you know, the front of uh, Prince Zuko's like royal outfit. And on the back, if you scan this on Spotify, it'll start playing the Agni Kai sound or music that plays when Azula and uh, Zuko were going at it. It's just an amazing one. Happy Monday. Um, currently working on my commission page. I'm just setting up my page and linking it to my artistry page here. I think this is gonna be way more streamlined. So um, I'm pretty sure I already showed y'all what artistry was, but basically it's gonna give me a really, or okay, so it already has like a, a timeline set up for you or a wait list or, I don't know what to call this, but I had this set up in Notion, but I find this to be a lot more straightforward, easier to read. So I'm switching to artistry and I'm just making like my main landing page with all the extra information um, on here. So it's gonna be one cohesive page instead of like a whole list of pages. Um, I'm trying to get this done as soon as possible, but this is, it's taking a minute, you know, it's, a, it's kind of a lot. And I have my style guide here. Um, at the very bottom, so I'm hoping this makes it really easy for people to see the information that they need to commission me. Hello, it is Mojo from the future. Okay, so these are some merch designs that I was working on at the time. Um, the audio for this got messed up, so yeah, these are really successful designs. Oh, 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 wait, let me let me not go too far ahead. Anyways, these are really fun to design. Um, 
I created these specifically for MegaCon and a few other cons that I have coming up in the next couple months. So um, I'm really into Assassination Classroom, so I had to throw in a couple Koro Senseis. I might do some more, but my bread and butter is always going to be Full Metal. These designs, oh, I've had them in my brain for so long and I have so many others. So I think my favorite ones I've done so far are these. And doing these designs gave me a chance to take a break from working on the book. Um, and I wish I had more time in the day, <laughs> that's all. But really quickly, I just wanted to say thanks. I've met a few subscribers since filming this and it's been really nice chatting with y'all. And thank you so much for watching. I'm getting caught up on videos, so like, expect a couple videos in April and May to get caught up with the times. So it is the same day. This is crooked. This is very crooked. Oh my god. Do you see the image looking all weird? I'm about to start editing my video. Um, let me show y'all what I'm seeing. Okay. I recorded it in a different format that is just not working with Premiere. I recorded these as um in HDR, I think. Yeah, HDR and like, it looks fine on Google, but then when I open up Premiere, hold on, let me pull it up. So, the left side is what it looks like when I pull it into Premiere. God awful, like, what is this? And this is after doing color correcting. I, I did my best here, but man. And this is also making the editing process a little bit longer. I'm doing this to every clip. I mean, I can just copy and paste it, but some clips have... I filmed it during two different times of the day, so like, it's just gonna be annoying trying to edit it. And I was trying to adjust, I was trying to convert the file formats all night last night. Not all night, for like a few hours, like maybe two hours. Couldn't figure it out, couldn't get it right, so. Yeah, we're stuck. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be able to get this done next week, I don't know. The lies, there you the go. Lies. Wednesday, I am hoping that I'll be like done done. I should be working on the book right now um, and I will later on. I just kind of wanted to do something else. Oh yeah, I got accepted into Megacon so we're doing that. That's gonna be fun. Um, I'm excited. I have not been playing the convention game. Um, as you know, I've been doing a lot of original art. I love doing original art. I love that my original art has been able to captivate a lot of guests and a lot of viewers and I've gotten people who who really appreciate my original art and I and I love that but now it's time for me to play the game it's time for me to I'm still not even playing the game that well because I'm choosing to do assassination classroom is that even that's not even a trendy anime I don't even know if a lot of people watch assassination classroom but I'm just digging into my fan art bag and really trying to work on products that I know I can push a bit faster so pins um, and I'm, I think I'm gonna be doing acrylic charm like earrings so I really cannot, st I can't stomach looking at the book <laughs> right now. I've been working on it so much over the past like week and a half. I need a break. I wasn't going to really do too much fan art this quarter, but I now that I'm going to MegaCon, I need more stuff. I don't know how much inventory I will have left over after um, Brick City, which is in two weeks, and after... Um, the vendor market that I have, uh, HB and V in Winter Park. I probably won't have these done in time for that, but uh, we're gonna try. We're gonna try.